So as part of Apple's back to school deal, you can get a pair, a free pair of Beats X um, wireless earbuds with the purchase of an iPad Pro if you purchase it after June 28th. And since I just made that cutoff, Apple finally sent me my Beats um, for free since I purchased um, an iPad Pro. Um, you can see I have my Apple Pencil back there. And I'm actually recording this video on my iPad Pro. So this can also serve as um, an audio test if you want to see what the audio sounds like when you record on the iPad Pro. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick show you guys um, quickly what you get um, in the box with the Beats, um, how they pair. I'm going to be using these with my phone, actually, not with my iPad. And kind of just what the whole experience is like. So, first of all, obviously it's really nice when Apple gives you a free pair of headphones for the back-to-school deal. And I think you get the Beats Wireless Solo for free if you purchase a MacBook Pro. But I didn't purchase a MacBook Pro, I just got the iPad Pro. So I got a free pair of Beats X in black. You can see here, I already opened them. Uh, unfortunately, so I couldn't save that for camera because I needed to test them out right away. But here they are. Um, they are open. Let me turn them off. You can see it's flashing because it's on right now. Let me turn that off. Okay. And let's just look into the box really quick and see what's inside. So there's a little um, there's a little uh, paper or sticker kind of thing that comes around here. I already pulled that off. So you just pull this open. And it says, talk, listen, beats. You know, I have to look up whether there is a microphone in here in the Beats X. Let me look that up really quick. Okay, so I'm on Apple's website. And, oops, uh, you can see here that it says um, that remote talk allows you to take calls with a built-in mic, play music, adjust volume, and activate Siri. So I guess it does have a mic built in, which is awesome. I have, I'll have to test out the quality of that mic. Um, because if it's better than my phone quality, then I might use that as my microphone when I'm recording videos. Um, and it also has, what I wanted to show you, it has the Apple W1 chip, um, which is a really seamless pairing process, which I'll show you in a second. And um, one more thing that I wanted to show you are the colors. So um, I got them in black, you can see um, here just a few pictures of them, uh, but they also come in, let's see what these are, gray, in white, I think, yeah, and blue. Um, so they didn't follow, I, I guess they didn't follow the same color schemes of the iPhone, like the space gray, rose gold, etc. But um, I always go with black, because I think black always just looks, you know, the best. Anyway, so we can go back to looking at what is in the box here. So it says, great sound, starts with proper fit. And then if you open this up, or I guess pull this out, you get, um, well, in the back, first of all, I didn't take this out, but you get the um, uh, lightning cable, right? And it says fast fuel. If you charge for five minutes, you get two hours. Um, and you charge for 45 minutes, you get eight hours. So that's pretty cool. I decided to just leave it in the box because... I already have so many lightning cables, so I just think I can just use that to charge it. Because um, there is a lightning port on the Beats, on the earphones, right here. You can see that. Which is one of the really things that I think is really neat. Now that Apple has bought Beats, you can just use lightning to um, charge it. Which I think is pretty cool. And, um, you know, it just makes it easier now. Because now I don't need, like, three different chargers to charge all my devices. And then up here you have, um, I, I guess you can pull these out. These are the different ear tips you can change. They're fine the way they are. I don't like too much customization. It just gets a little, you know, tedious, I feel like. So the whatever ear tips they came with, I think they're perfectly fine. So we can put those back. And then these are um, oh, these are just, um, the little, I, I don't know if you can see them, but they're just like the little, they're, I guess they're just like more ear tips, kind of, um, which, you know, I don't, I don't really like to use any of this extra stuff, 
And I'm not that big of an audiophile, so it's kind of, I don't usually care too much about how the sound is, as long as the earphones and earbuds are comfortable. And um, so the sound I've noticed, you know, it's fine. It's not anything, like, you know, special um, from what I can tell. It's just, it's, it sounds like, you know, regular audio to me. Nice beat sticker, I guess. They're trying to, you know, since Apple owns them, I guess they want to do stickers. Or maybe they always do that. I don't know. This is the first pair of beats I've ever purchased. So, um, uh, yeah, this is just a safety information guide here. Uh, some more safety information. And then this nice little booklet which kind of tells you everything uh, you need to know, how to connect them, how to wear them. And it says you can even use it with Watch OS 3, which is cool, and your uh, Mac, obviously. And then here are the remote controls. It's control music, manage calls, and adjust volume with the remote talk cable. And, you know, it's just pretty standard controls. Oh, really quick, it looks like these are wing tips. These down here are supposed to be the wing tips, um, which, you know, I don't need to use either. Because these are earbuds, so I like earbuds. Earbuds fit me really nicely, but things like the AirPods, or not the AirPods, um, whatever they're called right now, the wireless ear, ear pods, right? The wired ones, those don't fit my ear too well. I haven't tried the AirPods, but um, I, I, I would just assume that it's the same fit as the ear pods. But those don't, that doesn't fit my ear too well, so I don't usually like the earphones that Apple provides. I need something like this, like an earbud that looks, you know, has this sort of shape. These stay in my ear really nice. So let's just, let's just put all this away and let's actually start, um, let's pair it with the phone and I'll just show you how that works. I just wanted to show you guys what the box looked like. Um, I'll just keep this, I guess, since it has all the accessories in it. And, you know, it's a pretty nice box, um, you know, in typical Apple slash Beats fashion. Pretty simplistic um, packaging. So, that's nice. So, this is how you are going to connect your Beats to your phone. This is the button. And all you do is you just click on this. Now, I'm just going to hold this button. And it should pop up on my phone. There it is. So now Beats X pops up. And so this is how you connect it. And it's really seamless this way because you don't have to go into your settings and Bluetooth and do all that. So I'm just going to click connect. And there you go. And it so shows you your charge down here. Um, it says Beats X up there. And then you click done. So now if I scroll down here, it shows my um, Beats along with my watch and my iPhone charges all over here so that's pretty cool and you can click show less or show more and can you scroll through these i guess not so you just so it's you can always check um to see how much battery your beats have just by um clicking on the wi the batteries widget on your iphone so that's about it that's all i wanted to show you it's just a quick look at beats x that come free with the ipad pro purchase for Apple's back to school deal in 2017. So I think it's a great deal. I know that Beats aren't necessarily considered the best quality earphones or headphones, but I really just wanted a wireless pair of earbuds and you know, it's they're Beats, so I'm not going to complain about that. So I think it's a it's a it's a pretty good deal overall.